Good day, students. Lovely to have you back. Today we'll be learning about adding mixed numbers, which will also serve as our learning intention for today's lesson. Success criteria. To know the process of adding the whole numbers and fractions separately, and to know the process of adding using improper fractions. As you know, before the break, we've already learned how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa. We also knew how to do equivalent fractions, simplify fractions, add and subtract fractions with the same denominators, and add and subtract fractions with different denominators. All these would be very useful in today's lesson, all those things that we learned before the holidays. So to refresh our memory, let's look at converting mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa. So question one, how can I convert two, three over four into an improper fraction? Well, there are two ways I can do this the visual way and the calculation way. Let's suppose we have three holes and each hole is divided into four because remember the fraction part, the denominator is four. So if I take three holes and I divide each hole into four parts, you'll see that for the two hole, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight quarters. And for the third item, I have three shaded. So that makes it nine, 10, and 11, if I count on. So as you can see, there are 11 quarters, which are shaded. And that 11 quarters is written as 11 over four. So two thirds, I mean two three quarters is the same as 11 over four. Now, if we want to do the calculation part, all that we need to do is to take that denominator four, multiply it with the two whole and add the three, which is the numerator to it. So two times four plus three and all divided by the denominator four. So the calculation part is simply that. And of course, orders of operation is so applicable here. So two times four plus three will be two times four, eight, that has to be done first. And eight plus three is 11 and 11 over four. So to recap, there are two ways we could have done this. We can do it visually, we take three whole, we divide, each hole into four parts and we shade as many as we want. In this case, we want two three quarters. So we shade two hole completely and the third hole, we shade three quarters of it. And we can count how many quarters shaded. Then that would be 11, so 11 over four. Now, what about converting improper fraction to a mixed number? Now deliberately choosing the 11 over four again. Now, which means I take three holes, divide each hole into four parts, and you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 shaded. So 11 over four, that's 11 quarters. Now, as you can see, we got two whole and three quarters. So two, three quarters. That's how you can visually convert a mixed number. I mean, proper fraction to a mixed number. Now, if we wanted to do it by calculation, then this is what we'll do. We take the 11 and divide that by four. And you ask yourself how many times would four go into 11? Of course, two times. Two times four is eight, so 11 minus 
times 8 gives you 3. And so this should be a remainder of 3. So 3 over 4. And so 11 over 4 is equal to 2 3 quarters. Thank you very much. Now, our lesson, this is just our warm-up activity. Our lesson is divided into two parts. The first part will look at adding mixed numbers with the same denominator. And then the next part will look at adding mixed numbers with different denominators. And then after that, we'll conclude our lesson with some practice questions. So adding mixed numbers where the fraction part has the same denominators. We'll use both success criteria to help us solve this problem. Let's start with the first success criteria, which we call the method one, where we add the whole number part and we add the fraction part. So we're starting off with 3, 2 over 3 plus 4, 2 over 3. So this is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. Now, adding the whole number is the easy part. 3 plus 4 is 7. Plus. Now, because both fractions have the same denominator 3, it means our common denominator is 3. So we simply add the numerators, which is 2 plus 2. So, this is equal to 7 plus 4 over 3. Now, at this point, you know that this is an improper fraction. Improper fraction. So we need to change that to a mixed number. And to do that, we have 4 divided by 3, and that will be 1, because 3 can go into 4, 1 time remaining 1. So which means 4 over 3 is equal to 1 whole, 1 over 3. So we come back to our calculation, and we say we have 7 plus Instead of 4 over 3, we have 1, 1 over 3. And 7 plus 1 will give us 8. And then we have the 1 third as well. Right. <clears throat> Let's look at the method 2 or success criteria 2 applied to this problem. Let's go to the next slide. So we still have the same. 3, 2 over 3, and we add in 4, 2 over 3. So we need to change this into improper fraction and change that into improper fraction. So to do that, if you recall the calculation method, this will be 3 times 3 plus 2 divided by 3 and we add in 4 by 3 plus 2 divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 that gives you 11 over 3. Let's put the cosine there and the cosine there. And plus 4 times 3 will give you 12 plus 2, 14 over 3. 
Now, again, because the denominators are the same, we've got a common denominator of three. So we simply add the numerators and that gives us 25 over three. Now, you see this 25 over three is still an improper fraction. proper fraction. So we need to convert back into mixed number by doing 25 divided by 3. Well, 3 times 8 is 24 and 24, 25 minus 24 that gives us 1. So that is 8 remainder of 1. And 8 remainder of 1 means 8, 1 over 3. And as you can see, both methods give the same answer like the previous slide, because for a closed question, you expect same answers. You expect the same answers. Right, let's look at now the slide that deals with different denominators. This one, the same denominator. So let's look at different denominators. Again, we we'll apply our two success criteria to this problem. So criteria one is adding the whole number part and adding the fraction part separately. So. I have 2, 5 over 6 plus 3, 3 over 4. So we need to first add the whole number part 2 plus 3 plus 5 over 6 plus. 3 over 4. Right. That's a very easy. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus. Now you recognize that the denominators are different. That's 6 and that's 4. So I need an equivalent fraction for this and I need an equivalent fraction for that. And if you recall what we did with equivalent fractions, equivalent fractions, we first need the LCM of six and four. LCM of six and four. Probably let me just write it below here. Yeah, six and four. So that's six times table, six, 12, 18, 24, and so on. Your four times tables, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on, so on. <clears throat> now you can see that 12 is the lowest common multiple. That's equal to 12. So what I'm doing here is having a fraction that's being divided by 12 and a fraction divided by 12. And I ask myself, what goes into the box here? Well, six multiplied by two gives me 12. So this five multiplied by two should give me 10. Same way, four multiplied by three will give me the 12, so this, must be multiplied by 3 as well. That gives me 9. So you now have 5 plus. Because now the denominators are all 12, you got 10 plus 9 all divided by 12. Then you can combine that and we get 5 plus 19 over 12. Now, 
again 19 over 12 is an improper fraction so we'll do 19 divided by 12 and that will give you one whole remainder 7 so this would be 5 whole plus 1 whole 7 over 12 and that will give us 5 plus 1 gives us 6 7 over 12 6 7 over 12 that's our final answer 7 over 12 any questions if you do have questions please send a google uh, classroom post and i will address that for you right let's move on to solving the same problem using the second success criteria so again the denominators are different so we have two five over six plus three three over four now we need to change this to improper fraction change that into improper fraction and to do that we will need to do two times six plus five divided by six and then we add in this on to three times four plus three divided by four <clears throat> and if we do that we'll get two times six that gives me 12 12 plus five that gives me 17 over six plus three times four is 12 plus three that gives me 15 over four and as we saw before if the denominators are different we need to find the multiples and find the lowest common multiple and we have seen from the previous slide that the lowest common multiple for six and four is 12. six and four is 12. now what do we do to the six to get a 12 you multiply by two so you must multiply the 17 also by 2 to get 34 and the 4 you multiply by 3 so we have to multiply the 15 by 3 and that gives us 45 and this would be equal to 34 plus 45 that gives us 79 divided by 12 this is an improper fraction so like we've been doing before you do next um, 79 divided by 12 and if we do that this gives us 6 remaining 7 and so our final answer is six seven over twelve six seven over twelve is our final answer right now that we've covered all these things let's have some problems for you to solve to see if you've understood the lesson so you can pause the video here and then solve this problem before you continue thank you very much you must do this in your man's books thanks right so in this case we using method one success criteria one so we write the two here plus the one here seven 
over 10 and 1 over 5. Again, 1 plus 2 is simply equal to 3. Now, 7 over 10 will remain 7 over 10. The LCM of 10 and 5 is 10. LCM equals 10. So, this times 2 will give you 10. So, that must be multiplied by 2 as well. So, that gives you 2 times 1 is 2 over 10. And so, this will be 3. 9 over 10. We cannot simplify, so that's our final answer. Right. Well, we come to using method 2 for this problem. The first step has already been done for us. And 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. That gives us 5 over 2 plus 1 times 10 is 10 plus 7, 17 over 10. Again, we need the equivalent fractions for these two to get a common denominator of 10. That 17 hasn't changed, but this two, you have to multiply by 5. So you have to multiply that by 5 as well. And that gives you 25. And 25 plus 17 that gives us 42 over 10. And again, as an improper fraction here, we need to do 42 divided by 10. And that will give me uh, 4 times 10 is 40, the remaining 2. So I will have 4. 2 over 10. But as you can see, 4, 2 over 10 cannot be my final answer. If you did that in a test, I'll put this there and I'll put that to show that it's incomplete because you can simplify that to get 4, 1 over 5. And that will be your final, final answer. And that gives you the full tick. For 1 over 5. For 1 over 5. Thank you very much, class. You've done very well. So you have some.